it seems like the no-fly list is an amalgamation of a whole lot of lists, right? It's a list of known terrorists. It's a list of people who are suspected terrorists. It's a list of people who are put on the list by other people. And the procedure for getting on the list isn't known. I mean, it's a secret procedure, which, which really flies in the face uh, of a democracy or, or a free society. There's no way to challenge your name on the list. There's no way to get off the list. So it's almost very much like a, a court that judges you in secret. It's very Kafkaesque. The makeup of these lists are, are secret. And, and we hear lots of shadows about this. You know, we, we've heard that the list has over a million names. But a lot of these names are aliases. A lot of these names are people who are in custody or in jail. We've also heard that there are only a few thousand people on these lists. So we don't know, and we hear all sorts of different things. There's been a lot of attempts to find out who's on the list, how you get on the list, how you get off the list, but we really don't know a lot. What you find, and you find this all through law enforcement, once you build a system, you know, well, let's say, to match terrorists on the watch list against the airline passengers, there's always the uh, tendency to use it for other things. You know, we should put pedophiles on that list because, hey, you might catch a pedophile. And then we should put maybe everybody with an outstanding warrant on that list. And suddenly, security systems designed for very specific purposes are being used much more broadly and much more generally. And there's a danger there because the security trade-offs you make when you design the system for this specific purpose might not apply as you broaden the purpose. So mission creep is always a strong worry in any of these sorts of systems. And the TSA will brag about the people they've caught at airline checkpoints. None of them are terrorists. I mean, it's other criminals and this and that, but it's not the TSA's mission. The problem is that terrorism is very, very rare and almost never happens. And if you have a system to stop terrorists, you're basically going to catch absolutely nobody. So if you want to catch anybody at all, you're forced to expand your scope. And if we want there to be a screening system for all criminals, we should as a nation debate that. But we shouldn't get it sort of as a backdoor through mission creep.